I'm Rada Grishella. I'm from Waverly High School. Wait, Midwest! Gotcha. <laughs> and this is the reason I hate autumn. I light my fall scented candle and crouch over the clothes that I will wash when I feel better, but this is the second month that I've said that. My room doesn't smell like fall anymore. It smells like the way forgotten pumpkins look, melting on front porch steps long after Halloween, and it could be the coffee cup I've had half full since I started my new job in July, or the pastry I began but never finished, or the multiple cans of soda that have faced the exact same fate. I'm so ashamed when my doctor tells me anxiety will keep you organized. This place looks like the scene of an accident. Before the cops, after the wreck, except I am the accident. <laughs> I put the last portrait I have of my mother on the windowsill. I will worry about it yellowing when I feel better, but by then she will have turned to ash in her frame and it will be the second time I have seen my mother in this form. My best friend's obituary makes second page news. Brings back memories of my own mother's death. The rose I was given at McKenna's funeral to place on her casket is instead hung and dries inside of the arms of a bear I was given at the high school we both should have attended. Reminds me of the bear I was given at the bottom of a special cop car that sits inside a Goodwill somewhere. I do not remember why I chose to give it away. My grief doesn't make sense to anyone but to me, just like it doesn't make sense to lose your best friend at 17. McKenna was buried in a bright blue dress, with Skittles, and a motorcycle helmet. When I got home, I threw every blue dress I owned away. Did not want a reminder of how beautiful she looked, unlike my mother, who is cremated before they let her parents see the body. All of her reduced to ash and rubble. It took years for me to be able to clear my mother's ashes from my lungs, to be able to breathe without inhaling rubble. I read somewhere there are five stages of grief, but I swear there must be more. Wrote all of them down, stuffed the list under my bed. We'll find it next to my mother's locket. Won't have to see it until I leave when I move out. And God, I swear. I am so great at burying things. Every obituary I have from everyone I know who has died and I didn't want you to join them. I haven't said your name the same way since you passed, but McKenna, today I cleaned my room 